Good morning. Before I go to the gym, I kind of wanted to give you an overview of how I'm feeling at the moment. From doing two competitions to now back on the diet once again to compete in another two competitions over the sort of next 24 days. Generally speaking, I probably would call myself a bit of an optimist. Um, I tend to try and look at people and see people in a better light than maybe they even are. Um, or to put a smile on my face even when things are, are tough and difficult. I'm not one of those like weird optimists. What a great night, I have to tell you. Being here with all of you in event room C. <laughs> Take a mental picture of you all. Click. <laughs> I don't think the flash went off. Somewhere there is someone with a tranquilizer gun and a huge butterfly net looking for that man. But I do try and look at the better side of things and maybe try and think, what if we could make it? Maybe we can make the train rather than thinking we're never going to make the train. Dieting for this long has certainly grated a lot on that optimism. Like a lot. It's digging me a massive hole and a deep black hole where I'm unmotivated to do anything, I don't want to do anything, I feel just kind of angry at a lot of stuff all of the time. It's not really rational, like I shouldn't let it bother me, but I do. Now, I've never knowingly suffered from any mental health issues, I've never suffered with depression, I don't actually think I have a family history of any of that either, but at the moment it feels like this weird dieting depression, like really low and it's just pushing down on me with all this pressure and it's hard, it's really hard to deal with, and hard to motivate myself to want to do stuff. After having all that pizza on Sunday, I felt so much better. On Monday and Tuesday, I was like a different human being. Even Laura would probably be able to tell you the difference I was after eating all of those calories. And I wonder, I do wonder if this whole dieting thing and being extremely conscious of your diet, extremely conscious of your training all of the time, and I'm sure there's people out there that are like that. Certainly, maybe obese individuals who have lost a lot of weight and they continually think they're dieting all of the time there must be some sort of relationship between that and feeling either low or just everything's overwhelming. Because there is something called allostatic load, which is, you know, little bits of stress just adding up and adding up and adding up. And having that dieting stress on top of you of everything else from financial stress to work stress to just all life stress, that's really hard to deal with. And I'm struggling to deal with that at the moment. I'm lucky I've got these vlogs where they kind of almost this tripod and camera and microphone becomes a person to talk to. And it's also great that I can share it with you guys. And I get some amazing messages from people out there and it's, it's wonderful, certainly from the highs of competition where there's the encouragement and even the encouragement when things are tough. I don't want to think or make you think that this is a moan about anything or that I am really, really sad or depressed at all. I'm not. I'm just trying to sort of put it forward about how I'm feeling in this current state. There really isn't much, t there really isn't much to go in terms of dieting, it's like 24 weeks, it's three weeks, I've done all this time now, I'm gonna keep going and get it done. But please bear with me if these vlogs aren't necessarily as entertaining, as fun, uh, as expressive as they have been, but it's just getting tough. Look at that omelette, oh! That was a shockingly good omelette. So I was chatting to Johnny yesterday and he was like, oh, you know, I had loads of omelettes when I was dieting and I thought, I really fancy some eggs. I've been wanting eggs for ages. So uh, I popped it into my fitness pile, worked out it was pretty good. So I had five egg whites, one whole egg. Uh, I had peppers, a yellow pepper, red pepper, some mushrooms, an onion, tomato, protein cheese, and I found these little flatbread things that I'll show you here. Uh, where are they? So these little things are actually really nice. 10 grams of protein per wrap, uh, 184 calories, three grams of fat, two sugar, doesn't matter. Uh, but really nice, very, very good. So they, I had that underneath uh, with the omelet and then my protein's protein cheese on top. It came to a hefty 600 calories, 
but fat was relatively moderate, 16 grams, protein was about 50 or 70 odd, and carbs were about 50. But I am stuffed after that and I'm really satisfied, so that was actually really good. So yeah, have an omelette. Training session was okay, uh, yeah, it was all right, it was legs, did leg press, barbell stiff-legged deadlifts, some seated hamstring curls, some leg extensions and some calves, kept to the weight the same, so it was like 400 kilos in leg press, 130 on stiff-legged deadlifts, 67 and a half leg extensions, 65 hamstrings, and then like 40 kilos on the calves. I'm not gonna get ready, get showered, head into London, I've got two clients, two clients this evening, and Tom's nephews are joining us this weekend, which is gonna be cool, get to see them, say hello. They're nutters, by the way, so look forward to seeing them on the vlog. Picked up a little salad from Marks and Spencers. Uh, they definitely do the best ones. Like there's loads of little big packets, which I've taken some chicken and rice with me because I forgot to do some vegetables. So that's for tonight's dinner. I've got a couple of clients to get through tonight. Get home. I am having massive export issues with my vlogs. My earbook now has run out of total memory. So me and Neil are gonna try and sort something out. Not really sure how, but we're gonna do something. So hence why I'm probably gonna have to upload a lot of these vlogs, probably twice a day or even three times a day to catch up, but I am vlogging. I am doing everything and keeping up to date with them. Walk up from Cannon Street, it's a lovely day. I do love autumn in London. It just kind of, it's not too hot, not too cold. It's sunny, just it's a nice vibe to it. It's also, I hope some of these nice days will be around when I'm, when I'm not dieting, like when I'm a beer, have a nice beer. Um, and that's kind of it, get home tonight. I've got no more food after that meal. Uh, get some work done, get some food prep for the weekend. Uh, and that's kind of it. Laura's got like a brunch thing tomorrow. I'm gonna chill out, enjoy myself. And then it's a few more days until the next comp. Tan's starting to wear off a little bit and look a little less patchy, but unless you're trying to trash, it's kicking up some. food prep all done for the weekend. Just getting organized, to be perfectly honest. Got home, did some emails and programs and work and things, watched a little bit of TV. Quite fancy going to Japan, actually. Quite nice. Vlog issues definitely holding still. I mean, my computer's just really old and I need to, to upgrade it. Apple, I think, are gonna come out with a new one in October, but I have to wait until that comes out. So I'm going to have to find a solution to this. I'm vlogging every day, but I can't export the vlog. Oh well. So today is day 165, episode 165. Done. So no salted caramel mug cake, but I went with the old fashioned peanut butter and jam. Boom. <laughs> 